Y'all were asking about Kodiak products. Let's have a look. The muffin mix. Here's what's interesting. When you look at this, it's really important to understand this is about seven servings per container. This is one serving. And when you look at this, you have to look at the baked version, not just the dry mix. So look at it when it's done. 15 grams of fat, 400 milligrams of sodium. That's quite a bit. 44 grams of carbs and 17 grams of that are coming from refined sugars. Protein, there's 13 grams. So not a lot of protein in that. Remember, seven servings per container. And this makes... 12 to 14 muffins. So about a muffin and a half is what you're gonna get out of this. Let's look at the ingredients. 100% whole grain wheat flour, great. Cane sugar is number two. That's a refined sugar. Blood sugar is going to go up. Lots of insulin will be released. So your blood sugar is gonna spike. You're also gonna get hungry after you eat this and your tummy empties. The ingredients basically check out, but a lot of sugar, so I would pass on that. Here's all their breakfast stuff. Protein packed, pancake mix, 10 servings per container. Makes about three, four inch flapjacks. 190 calories, gram and a half of fat, 32 grams of carbs and 14 grams of protein. Not too bad, but it doesn't tell you if this is with or without the egg and the milk in it. Eight grams of added sugar so we got an isolate protein so fast absorbing protein i mean the ingredients pretty much check out except for the sugars so again we're getting added sugars in here that we don't necessarily need especially in the morning worst thing you could possibly do is spike your blood sugar because you're gonna crash how about these guys 10 grams of protein per serving 37 grams of carbs 7 grams of fat 240 calories 10 grams of protein 300 milligrams of sodium so a little bit more than like a protein bar whole wheat flour whole grain oat flour dried maple syrup brown sugar if 13 grams of added sugars wow it's all about sugars i'd pass on all these overall i honestly can't recommend any of the kodiak products just because the high levels of sugars on it